Hello friends. In the last few videos, we have looked at how to train image classification and object detection models using SageMaker's inbuilt algorithms as well as Jumpstart algorithms uh, using TensorFlow and PyTorch. But uh, we have skipped the data preparation part, right? We did not look into how we prepare the uh, images uh, and the annotations, right? So today, uh, in the next few videos, we are going to look at the data preparation uh, uh, for image classification and object detection models. Okay. Now, generally, we use some tool to annotate the images first, and then we get the annotations. And as we discussed, different models takes the ground truth in different formats. Okay. Then we convert the annotations created by the tool to those which can understand by different models. Okay, so there is an intermediate step. Now I have uploaded another video series uh, using uh, a web based UI tool called Make Sense. Uh, so please watch those videos first. We are going to use the output from the Make Sense to create input for SageMaker inbuilt models and also the Jumpstart models. Okay, all right. So uh, let's start with the image classification models and the LST format, right? So we have trained the model using these four folders, train images, uh, train annotations, and also validation images and validation annotations. Now, uh, the images contain simply uh, the images, but uh, the annotations they contain uh, this LST format file right so uh, today we will see how to prepare this LST format and how to uh, prepare the data into train and test etc okay so I'll first I will show you what we are going to create okay so this is the LST format right so uh, for each image we have one label and we have converted the label to some uh, label ID uh, integer starting from zero right so the first column uh, is just at the serial number uh, and the second column the label ID and finally we have the image name right so that's for the train so for example in this case we have some 70 images right and then we have uh, the validation LST file the index starting from 71 again we have a bunch of images and also the three labels okay so that's what we are going to create today starting with uh, this file so here uh, we have a folder that's uh, that's where we start with so right so let's say we want to train image classification model so we collected a bunch of images all right and then we used uh, make sense to label uh, these images so this is the output from make sense okay so it's a two column file uh, we have the image uh, name or the file name and then we have the uh, object or the class name okay we have this class name uh, one for image we are going to use this file as an input to create this file right and also we are going to split the images in this folder to train and test uh, and then we uh, copy the train images to train validation images to validation and we will create two LST files and we copy them into train annotations and validation annotations we will create one more file called this labels map right so as you know uh, for machine learning models they only work with the numbers right so after training the model uh, we get back uh, the class ids so in order to map these class ids to the classes we will create this simple json file where we have the class id to class labels mapping okay so we are going to create this file as well all right so let's jump into the code okay so let me to full screen all right so quickly again 
we are starting just with this folder right a bunch of images and uh, uh, and this file okay all right okay so uh, we have looked at all these libraries before uh, so here we have a new library called shetil uh, using this uh, we can copy or move the files from one location to other location using python okay now here we have created four directories train images and annotations validation images and annotations okay and then first we read the annotations file created using make sense okay so as we discussed uh, this file don't have the header so here we are creating the uh, column names so the first one is image and the second one is this class okay so we are going to use this file to create the lst file all right so let's say uh, let's define our train and validation split uh, let's say we want to create 70% uh, of the data for training and the rest 30% for uh, validation okay so here because this is image classification each row uh, is unique for object detection uh, we can have multiple rows for the same image because it can contain multiple uh, objects right so here we are simply taking the number of unique images or we can even take the length of the data frame that would give us the total number of images we have annotated right and then we are just from the total images we are just finding what is 70 percent of it and what is the remaining images so for this one i have annotated 100 images so that means we are going to have 70 images for training and the rest 30 images for validation all right now uh, the make sense it has created the label in the form of uh, this list uh, right now we want just the label we don't want this uh, this bracket uh, at square bracket at the beginning and at the end right so here all i am doing is i am taking this class column and just excluding the first and the last character okay we are simply excluding uh, the square brackets here right and we write that back to the class column okay so here we have just the class uh, as it is and then first uh, we want to create uh, the mapping file right so the labels we have uh, the apple orange and banana now it is up to us how we want to uh, index them for example i mean if we might if you, so here i'm choosing zero for apple uh, one for orange and two for banana right so this uh, uh, order does not matter as long as uh, once you choose the order uh, you should use the same order throughout your project okay all right so just using some key value pairs uh, 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 i'm just accessing uh, creating an empty dic sorry a dictionary uh, so the enumerate with the labels so what it does is it returns the label one at a time and also the enumerate return uh, the index okay so we have created this key value pairs and we have simply written uh, this uh, dictionary labels map dictionary to the uh, uh, to this file location right so basically we just created uh, this file labels map dictionary right we have created that file all right and then uh, so using this mapping file now we map the classes to the classes id okay so the banana gets mapped to 2 orange to 1 and apple gets mapped to 0 uh, uh, we can't see here but uh, it's there so here we are looking at the top five rows of the data frame all right and then uh, we want to make sure uh, before we split the data to train and test uh, we want to make sure uh, we have uh, uh, randomized or we shuffle the data well right so for example for some reason maybe all the images at the beginning might be uh, 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 orange right so when we split the data to train and validation we don't want all the images tagged to orange uh, only to be in the training data right so we want to shuffle this data frame so that when we split we have uh, roughly equal uh, uh, proportion 
of all the uh, classes in both train as well as validation okay so here what i'm doing is simply using this sample function uh, which sample the uh, rows from the data frame uh, we are say without replacing okay that's important without replacing and we are saying the fraction is equal to one so what it means is we are going to get all the rows from this data frame one at a time and add them back to the data frame uh, without uh, resampling right without replacing okay so this way we still get the same data frame but the rows uh, those are shuffled okay all right and then now as we saw for lst format uh, we need to have uh, this index starting from one uh, in column one right so here i am simply using the data frame index column uh, which start from zero and added one so that we created uh, this new column called index okay so for each image now we have an index a unique index right all right then uh, it's very simple so we want to create this lst file which should have three columns so the first column should be index the second column should be class id and the third column should be uh, the image name okay so i'll again show you uh, the format yeah oh, sorry yeah so this is the file we are going to create right so first in column we have this index and second we have the class id and the third one the actual image okay so this data frame has four columns so we have simply created this selection columns with index first class id second and image third okay and then we are selecting these three columns from the data frame and then using the head uh, we are selecting n train number of images right so here we found uh, we want to use 70 images out of 100 images 70 for training 30 for validation uh, all right so what we are doing is using the head and uh, n train we are selecting the first 70 rows from the data frame and then we are writing to a file okay so we are writing to this file called train annotations and train lst so even though we are using the csv the extension don't have to be csv okay the important thing here is uh, the columns of this file should separated by slash t rather than uh, a comma as is the case uh, for a csv files right csv file name means comma separated values right but here we are creating this lst file and the separation should be slash t and then we don't want index so whenever we use pandas to write to a csv file by default uh, it create this index which start from zero okay it write that index uh, also to the file we don't want that index and then we also don't want the headers so as we saw here uh, this file it does not have any headers okay so the training model uh, it expect uh, the actual data from row one itself so that's what we did so we have created that file now here we are looking at the top five uh, rows of the file so let me look at it all right so this is what we created right so uh, the index the class id and the image name all right and then so here we are doing the same thing but this time instead of head we are using the tail that would select the rows from the bottom and we want the bottom 30 or n validation number of rows right so that would select those 30 rows in this case 30 percent of the data uh, because we have 100 images uh, we have 30 images for the validation okay so we have created the uh, validation uh, lst file all right and then we need to copy the data okay so here we have created these four folders we have copied the created and copy the files to the respective folders 
now we need to copy the train images to the train uh, file and annotation images to the annotation uh, folder right so that's what we are going to do next now here what we are doing is so from the lst file uh, we are reading the lst file here right as a train or data frame now we already know which images are uh, in this file uh, so we we could we could we could use this one to figure out what images should go to train folder and then this one to figure out what images should go to validation folder but here i'm just to make sure uh, we want to move only the files uh, which are in the lst files uh, we are reading the lst file again okay so we are reading the train lst file uh, using again pandas csv but by default it expects comma separated value so we need to explicitly state hey these are separated by slash t tab and then uh, this file don't have a header okay so these two are important otherwise the first row uh, is taken as the header by default okay so we read this file now from this file we know the second column because it does not have header so we are choosing the second column so the second column contains the image names right so the second column that contains the image names so here what we are doing is we are selecting all the image names as a list and then we are going over the images uh, one by one and then we are copying the images from our source folder to the target folder so as we saw here this is our source folder right where we have all the 100 images and then uh, the labels uh, file created using makes sense now we want to copy the train images from this folder to the target uh, train images folder and similarly uh, validation images to the validation images folder okay that's what we are trying to do so for each image copy from this location which is this all images and ground truth to the train images okay so we are copying the train images and then we are doing the same thing for the validation images so here we are reading the validation lst file and going over all the validation images and copying the validation images from this all images gt file folder to the validation uh, images folder okay uh, all right um, that's it for the video uh, thank you very much uh, see you in the next video